She gives up everything in order to raise her children, even working online. This is the mom that was stabbed in the neck. This is the mom who covered for her son when he killed his father, telling authorities, oh, it was self-defense, let him out, because society couldn't believe a son would kill his mom and dad. So they thought, hey, he must be mentally ill. But the way he came out of that house, Susan Hendricks, tells me an altogether different story. Joining me, journalist, investigative reporter, author of Down the Hill, My Descent into the Double Murder in Delphi, Susan Hendricks is joining us. Susan, tell me what happened when this young man comes out of the house and says, my mom's in there, she's bleeding from the neck, just as calm yes. and cool chilling not only what he said what he didn't say it's my mom come help immediately no i know my rights i want an attorney he knew exactly what he was doing i feel well, like he's the, manipulated the system let, let, let for me see years. susan hendrix please susan wait a minute i knew he came out cool as a cucumber i did not know you just told me something new he came out and said i know my rights i want a lawyer did you just say that is that correct that's exactly what he said. Okay, hold on. Covered hold in on. blood. I, Peter Odom, the guy that you say is crazy, comes out and looks the cops right in the face and goes, I know my rights. I want a lawyer. Really? Well, Nancy, crazy is your word. The law really what? doesn't use that word. Uh, he is mentally ill. And there's really no question about that. He has been twice hospitalized. That means that he had to be proven by a preponderance of the evidence to be mentally ill enough that he was a danger to himself or others. So there's really no question. When was that he this bakered? Teenager, Let's find out. When he was, was he baker acted, Susan? When did he get bakered? There are two dates that stand out to me. One was in September 2023. I know that he was held for 72 hours. He made threats inside of that hole during that hole they kept him for an additional five days eight days total he said exactly what he was going to do the prosecutor in oklahoma was asked do you regret not charging him for the murder of his father he said no it's impossible to predict someone's future behaviors no it's not not when they tell you and everyone around them what they're going to do didn't his baker act coincide with him stabbing his father it did but it seemed like he slipped through the cracks yeah, and then the second Baker Act, wasn't it, when he attacked his mother in November. He killed his father, Feb 14, Valentine's Day, 2023. He's Bakered. In other words, you're put in a, you're put in, put in a mental facility and you're analyzed. They decide, hey, he's fine. We can let him go. He was put there because the system didn't know what else to do with him. Why else would he shoot his dad if he wasn't mentally ill? So they go test him. He's released. Then, November 2023, he assaults his mother. He attacks her. Then he's bakered again because people think, well, why would you attack your mom? You must be mentally ill. Does that coincide with his baker acts, Susan? Well, I think there's a lot of facets here. So he was held an additional time at the 72 hour hole, but it's not a long term facility. So they were only able to keep him for a certain amount of times. He made threats there as well. He said, I did it before. I'll do it again. I'll throw her out of a car. I'll shoot her. I'll stab her. He said exactly what he was going to do. Sheriff Judd of Florida seems to be the only one that said, look, I held up a picture of him and say, you see a kid, I see a psychopath. This could have been prevented because of how many threats were made. Guys, you are seeing photos of a teen boy. Susan Hendricks, a teen boy that has killed not only his father, but his mother too. This after she defends him and the death of the father, gets him out of jail. He hates her. He goes back to live with her, and she ends up dead. Can you tell me about the new car, Susan Hendricks? $26,000. He graduated from high school. To me, never, ever, ever do I blame the mother. It was her unconditional love, though, and the forgiveness, and uh, I think coddling. Maybe she felt guilt about the divorce. I don't know. $26,000 car. They also went to Australia together. 